In this video, we will discuss how to use PV and FV of an annuity formula to calculate moving annuities and annuities due. Before diving into these concepts, let's first recall what an annuity is. An annuity is a series of fixed payments that occur at fixed intervals. Examples include regular deposits into a savings account or monthly insurance payments. Annuities all display certain characteristics. They have consistent cash flows that have a fixed value, cash flows that occur at regular intervals, cash flows that occur for a fixed amount of time, i.e. the cash flow ends, and for a standard annuity, the cash flow start one period from now. Now, let's recall what the formula is for calculating the present value of a standard annuity. To use the present value or future value annuity formula, you need to know what amount is being paid each time as represented by A, the effective rate of interest period, represented by R, where the period is how much time there is between payments, and how many payments are in the annuity, represented by N. The key here to remember is to always match the period of the interest rate R with the period of the fixed payments A. For example, if you are making monthly insurance payments, then be sure to use the periodic monthly interest rate. Always assume that the payments occur at the end of each time period, unless otherwise specified. Now, you may be asking yourself, how do you actually use these formulas? The first thing we can use the formulas for is to calculate moving annuities. A moving annuity is calculating the present value or future value of an annuity of different time periods. Let's imagine that you won the lottery. Congrats! Now, this lottery has promised to give you $5,000, a small pot, but that's okay. You finally won something! In the terms and conditions of winning this lottery, they have said that you will receive the cash price starting four years from now, or at the beginning of the fifth year. In $1,000 increments over five years, where the effective rate of interest for the year is 10%. Using the PV of the annuity formula, we can calculate the present value of the annuity and then discount the value back to see how much the annuity is worth today, i.e. the present value over the cash payments that occur over the five years at PV0, or today. It is important to remember that the PV of the annuity formula calculates the PV of the cash flows one time period before the ca first cash flow begins, at t equals 5. Pause the video here and try to calculate PV4 for yourself. Mapping the values identified in the problems with the variables in the formula, A equals $1,000, as $1,000 is the amount paid at the end of each year, R equals 0.1, the effective annual interest rate represented as a decimal matching the annual cash flows, and n equals 5, as their payments occur over 5 years. Plugging this into the PV formula, the present value at time 4 equals $3,790.79. This means that if you were to calculate what the value 4 years from now of getting $1,000 payments over the 5 years is, it is worth $3,790.79. However, this is not super helpful as this is the value 4 years from today. We need to discount this value by 4 years to calculate the value in today's dollars, i.e. PV0. Pause the video here and calculate PV0. After discounting $3,790.79 by 4 years, the value of the annuity in today's dollars is $2,589.16. Notice how, although you technically receive 5 times $1,000, the actual value of these cash flows is worth only $2,589.16 due to the time value of money. Another way that we could have tackled the same problem is to calculate what the future value of the payments were at the 9-year mark using the future value of an annuity formula. Here, it's important to remember that the FV of an annuity formula calculates the FV on the date of the last payment. Pause here and calculate the FV at time 9 for yourself. Using the same values to be identified for A, R, and N as in the PV calculation, the future value at time 9 is $6,105.10. This means that after receiving the five $1,000 payments during the five years, taking into account the time value of money, the value of the payments is $6,105.10 in terms of year 9's dollars. Following this, we would need to discount the value at FV9 back to time 0 i.e. FV0. Pause here and do this now. 
Just like when we discounted the value of PV4 back to PV0, when discounting FV9 equals $6,105.10 back 9 years to FV0, the value of the annuity in today's dollars is $2,589.15. In this example, we have learned that we can use the PV and FV formulas to calculate the value of the cash flow at different time periods. Then, through using the concept of compounding and or discounting, discounting in this example, we can essentially move the annuities, which are valuing the exact same stream of cash flows, to calculate its value at different times. Because these calculations involve moving to different times, it's very important to use subscripts to denote what time period the value you're calculating is in. Now that we have practiced how to use the annuity formulas and know how to move the annuities, the last concept we will cover is annuities due. Annuities due are annuities where you would receive your face payment at time zero. Recalling the previous example, imagine what you are now receiving the five $1,000 payments with the first one starting today. How can we calculate the value of these cash flows today, i.e. PV0? Pause the video here and think about how we can solve this problem. The key thing that we need to remember is that the PV of an annuity formula calculates the value of the cash flows one period before the first cash flow. There are two ways that we can manipulate the formula to calculate the value of the cash flows at time zero. The first method is to calculate the value of the four subsequent cash flows from T1 to T4 and the $1,000 given in time zero. Through using the PV of an annuity formula, the value of a four payment annuity is $3,169.87. So by adding $1,000, we get PV0, $4,169.87. The second method we can do is to use the PV of a five payment annuity, giving PV negative one, and then compound up one period to get PV0. Since we calculated the PV of a five payment annuity in the first example, $3,790.79, we just compound the value up one year and get a PV zero of $4,169.87. Congratulations! After watching this video, you should now be able to use the PV and FV of an annuity formula to calculate moving annuities and annuities due. Until next time! Thank you.